So anyway, that happened. Hi hoarders, I hope you're all happy. I'm not very happy today and let me tell you why. I received a negative feedback on eBay. And the problem is I did nothing to deserve this. And that's typically how it is when you get a negative. The buyer never contacted me to tell me if there was any problems or anything. They just slammed me with some negative feedback. But what they said is that one of the items was broken. It was a lot of 18 little ornaments and that one of the 18 ornaments was broken. They're plastic, metal, and cardboard. I really didn't see how they were broken. I did have them like in a bag because I do bag stuff up and some of the items were in boxes that they came in that I had not advertised the box because the boxes were kind of beat up. So like Hallmark ornaments were in boxes and so I'd put them back in and I had like stacks of ornaments. And I know one was long, even though it was plastic, maybe that's the one that got broken. I don't know because they didn't send me any pictures. But in this bag, I had wrapped it with um, the one inch bubble wrap on, and I added some top and bottom and I had a nice size box, you know, adequate, you know, this big enough box to help it, you know, keep everything protected. I'm gonna get this out in a minute. Oh, and now, oh, and the second thing they said about me was so ugly, so ugly and so unnecessary. I recently changed my name from Santa's to Sale because I'm a Santa collector and I'm also a Santa artist and I had tons of Santas I needed to move because I'm a, you know, collector. Well, they took advantage of the fact that I had hoarder at, uh, in my name now and said that my items smell like a hoarder's home. Look, my home is cluttered. It's not nasty. It's cluttered. Yeah, it gets a little dusty. I got two dogs. I had a cat. I, I've got, I had kids. I have, I live on a big area where we track in a lot of stuff. We own like three acres of pond. We track in stuff. So yeah, does it get a little, you know, needs cleaning up some days? Yeah, but it's not a nasty house. So that was uncalled for. And in fact, I'm contacted eBay because that's abuse. There's one thing, if I had been a total jerk to them and said, I'm sorry, you're, you know, not my problem and go broke during shipping. I've always worked with any kind of thing that's happened like that. If there was, I entered the package, so therefore, I don't even know if I would have bothered filing. One ornament out of 18 was broken. And let me tell you what she paid for these, $7. And I had totally messed up on my shipping because I was shipping a bunch of little single ornaments. Didn't even think about changing the shipping. And I only charged her $6 to ship something that weighed three pounds. So I ended up paying uh, almost $12, like $11.69 or something to ship these to her. Anyway. So. Over basically, you know, one tiny item out of 18 that she paid $13 for total, broken. She felt like I deserved negative feedback. And these are the people that eBay really, really needs to call. I did contact the buyer. I said, you know, this was insured. I wish you would let me know, but you know, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I was willing to work with you and all that good stuff, which kind of actually came out to be um, towards my benefit because I contacted eBay's customer service and, you know, tell them what was going on. They go, well, I see by your message, you know, you've been very professional, you're being very kind, you know, and you, and, well, let's wait to see if this person responds and see what they do. Well, they didn't do anything. They didn't respond. They didn't change the feedback. They, uh, so it's kind of put it into, in, you know, eBay's hands on what to do. I have done this since 1997, and I'm gonna tell you a little story about the beginning years. I'm gonna put my, take my, you know, teeth out here and, you know, gum it, because I'm that old. But there was a time when people could leave you negative feedback for no apparent reason. They just do it. And if you look at how eBay is now, it was trial and error back in the day, and that was one of the errors, that people could change their email, that they could do all this stuff, and and just ruin you. They could totally ruin you. So in the course of uh, a month, <laughs> I was getting negative feedback after neg from this one person just for fun, just picking on me and tormenting me because they could. I sold them a $4 item and they said they never received it. Well, this is back, guys. You know, no tea, old lady here. This is the day, no, these are my teeth, by the way. <laughs> but these are the days when um, there were no tracking or you had to pay separate for tracking and you didn't pay tracking on something that was first class. 
that was just, you know, an additional expense so people never did it. So, of course, I had no proof whether or not they got it. I It's also back before the time when eBay had the policies they have now for money-back guarantees and things like that. It was still all in the early stages. I'm hoping that eBay will take this off, only because I did not deserve it. I mean, I've made mistakes. Look, I've had uh, th at least 3,000 transactions. I only started doing the store a year, a little over a year ago. It was, it was right before Christmas because I had so many Santas and ornaments and things I like to sell. So, it, but before that, I, over the years, I maybe sold a few things a month or I quit doing it for a while and then I'd buy a lot of stuff. Uh, so I wasn't as active as a, as a seller for years. And, you know, it takes effort either as a buyer, as whatever, to build up your reputation. So it is hard. It's tragic. And I know they did not my, didn't do that much damage. Just one negative. But the negative they left me was so abusive. I just think it needs to be removed and that person needs to be dealt with because I wish there's a way I could tell you who they were because I would tell you to block them because they're troublemakers. Um, I will say, tell you another negative story uh, that happened to my son. And he had just started his, and he had maybe, maybe 15, you know, positives because he had just started and somebody nailed him, you know. And it was on something I had that I, you know, put on his account for him. I said, here, do this. And it was a doll that had a broken leg. And it said clearly, in photos and everything, it said in the title, uh, for parts only. I mean, seriously. So, they, um, you know, somebody bought the doll real cheap. Like once again, I only have this for cheap items, and they sent a negative. Just and, and in the comments said, "I doll was broken." And so I said, "Please send me pictures. You know, it's insured." Blah blah blah. You know, let's you know. I, I don't understand. And guess what? They sent me a picture of the leg, the broken leg that I'd already told them about in the description, in the photos, in the title. You name it. It was all about that broken leg doll for parts. We had to contact eBay and say, you know, what the world is going on. And, of course, eBay fixed it for us. They did because he, you know, my son was like, why did you put this on my account? Why did you do this? Because I thought you might want the money, son. I'm just doing it for you. So, anyway, that happened. But eBay did come through for us because there are people who will clearly do it. Oh, and by the way, never contacted us about it being broken. We found out when we saw the negative feedback. Anyway, my son was really young then, and he was new at it, and it, it was not a great way to start your eBay experience, I'll tell you that. Well, getting back to my experiences as a buyer, yes, I received items that were broken, and, and I have immediately contacted the seller and said, "There's, you know, it was broken during shipping. Is there, you know, something we can do? Uh, was it insured? And I've had things arrive that people have ship where it wasn't insured and I was like well I can ship it back to you because I'm not gonna accept it in because you didn't wrap it I had this fragile item that was this big and it was resin and it was uh it was a Santa by um this is my my curse my my uh Anthony Costanza curse but anyway it was a resin Santa on the sleigh is about this big and he was shipped in a box that was about this big so he was I mean didn't even open the box just rattled it, you know. Oh. So I boxed it in a separate box and sent it back to them and got my money back. I mean, that, and that was just one of those things. But So I have been unhappy as a buyer to receive something like that and be broken. I got a precious little vintage porcelain doll. I mean, you know, it's vintage. I mean, no, I'm, no, I'm sorry. It was an antique, and I got such a good deal on it. I paid like $10, and it was probably worth a lot more, and they didn't wrap it, and it arrived with ten bucks. So anytime a buyer's contact me with any problems, which ha has been rare. I mean, because I am, a, as a buyer, I have bought more than I've sold. Prob no, not now. <laughs> I'd like to think not now. But back before I started my store, I had, was probably up on the buying scale versus the selling. And I know as a buyer that I want my items to arrive. And I have complete compassion for these people. I and. I know what it, I have a complete understanding. It's not fun when you re receive something that is broken. So if this does happen to my, um, and it will, I, I do the best I can, but it, things happen. And I work it out. I refund their money. I get that out and back. I do whatever, but I work things out. Give them a discount, whatever they need. So I like, to, I like my people to be happy. I want to be happy. I understand. 
but I think I've always been one who communicated immediately if there was a problem. For example, I received something from China, took forever to get in. It was not the item I had ordered at all, at all. It had to do with a dog and it was a dog item, but it was not the thing I ordered. And I said, this, I received something that I didn't order. I mean, this is, here's, and I showed, you know, here's what I ordered. It's what I bought, but you sent me this instead. And it, what, and you know, if you ever buy anything from China and there was a problem, it, you know, ribs crushed. I had a doll, plastic doll in an envelope. It was smashed. <laughs> so anyway, I don't order from China that often, but they said, well, we'll give you a $2 discount. And I said, but what you don't understand is this is not what I want. It's not what I ordered. I want that thing that I ordered, can, and I will send these back to you, back to China. And they, um, anyway, finally had to get eBay involved and said, look, this isn't what I ordered. Of course, eBay, you know, worked it out with, in my favor because it was not what I wanted. And I kept saying, I will gladly send it back, send me a, a return envelope, like, you know, label, and I'll ship it back to them. Well, that didn't happen so that because the people didn't want it back. But I didn't give them a negative for it. Anyway, back to this negative comment I got. If there was any kind of smell attached to these items, there were two items in this listing. One was a Santa and one was a soccer ornament that were, soccer, like a ball, you know, that were um, made out of the polymer plastic you know it looks like they're made of that sculpty kind of clay stuff that you fire you, know, you cook in the oven and that has a smell it has a smell that has nothing to do with me it is the product polymer rubbery stuff smells it has a kind of a sweet chemically whatever smell I don't buy stuff like that for myself personally because I'm very sensitive nose so I do understand if that's what they smelled but 16 of those items were not made out of that. There, there's no way they would have held that odor, and if they did, air them out. But they could have thrown those two away. When you buy a lot of items, what are the chances you want every single item in that lot? I know I have shown examples to you about the things that I buy in, in bags from my favorite store, Rolling Hills, and I have gone through it and gotten rid of things and given it back, you know, donated it back because it's not what I wanted. But I didn't go in there and complain to them and say, I paid $2.55 for this, this bag of toys and I did not want these five things. I want my money back. Because that's not how you do things in a decent world. You buy the lots on eBay because you want certain things that are in that lot. And yes, then maybe the one they really, really wanted was the one that broke. And I'm so sorry. I would have refunded them some, a partial refund. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it was worth the entire refund. But at this point, if they had argued with me, whatever, send them back. I know, actually, I don't want them back. But the point is, no communication at all. Just nailed me with that negative. So... I am hoping that eBay, you know, here's my case and, and understands that where I'm coming from is, is a person who is a, you know, top rated seller and a person who has tried to deliver a good service, quick service and all and, and returns and refunds and things like that if there was ever a problem. And let me tell you one of my things that I've done a couple of times, probably this many times in the many years that I've done it, ship the wrong item, ship the wrong item, ship the wrong item, ship Two items to different to people, done that. So about five times I, I have totally messed up, but I fixed it if the item could be, you know, swapped out at my cost. Of course, I did it, but it did delay the transaction, which wasn't cool. And did I get negative re, uh, remarks for that or negative feedback? No, I got positive because those people saw that I was working for them. I messed up. I was communi- Boy, you're talking about communication. I you know, apologized profusely and said, I'm an idiot. I'm just having a bad day. And hey, when you've got 18 things to ship out in one day, you kind of can make a mistake. I have since then a much more organized manner of shipping. And it is to do one thing at a time, print one label at a time. Don't do these mess label print. I don't know how I managed to screw that up, but I do. So anyway, just, I haven't done anything to deserve, deserve a negative, and I know everybody else who's gotten a negative can honestly say that about themselves because they've worked really hard. And if you've got 20,000, which I have seen, uh, positives, and then somebody comes in and has to be nasty about something, I believe it's truly just a 
just to be ugly. They just don't want to see you succeed. And I'm sorry, I'm being a little, maybe, you know, I don't know what kind of day that lady was having, but I know that all I can do is put that, I put my eBay stuff ahead of everything. I, you know, throw, you know, try to throw everything. I try to grab it, you know, package it and get it out as quickly as possible and wrap it. I have lots of wrapping. So, I mean, there's just no, there was just no reason for that other than her wanting to hurt my feelings and putting something like, the hoarder not, that the item smelled like a hoarder's home but that that was me because that had nothing to do with me that had to do with those polymer ornaments and that they have a smell not me i do have dogs but they get baths sometimes <laughs> says he's looking kind of ratty right now um i don't know okay so i'm a hoarder and i really feel like the majority of my hoarding is the stuff or eBay so I have a lot of eBay stuff downstairs but this is <laughs> my house on a day-to-day -day basis but first I want to tell you that whenever I was younger I loved having everything clean and organized and stuff I still like having things clean and organized that doesn't change I just have a lot more stuff now it's a lot harder but I hope my glasses aren't glaring I'm sorry if they are anyway so typical day in my hoarded house my house at this smells like a hoarder's house so it's raining again in Louisiana. And here's my dog, because I walked up to her bowl. So right now the bowl's inside, her, her dish is inside, because she does not like being in the rain. So this is what my house would look like a typical day. All right, some project over here. That's something I picked up and I wanted to build with my son. I got stuff going to our lake house. That needs to go to the barn, back in the corners where we don't get the good airflow. I like to keep these dehumidifying things in. I don't, know. I don't know if it helps, but it makes me feel good. Uh, this has always got stuff on it. This is like all the stuff with the remodel that we're doing. Got to figure out what to do with these lamps. And there's chickens, lots of chickens. Oh, I will show this. I don't know why these are, these are up here. I really don't know why. The, okay, don't be surprised. You see a lot of that because that does happen. That's, that's how nasty my house is, by the way. Um, this is stuff that needs to go out to my studio, but it is what? Raining. And I, well, it's not too bad today. I just want to get out in it. Sorry if I'm making you nauseous. I know watching other people's videos move this fast <clears throat> kind of gets my motion sickness. Okay, typical bar. Always got jump. Projects, projects, projects. Even though I have the barn and we always say, well, let's just work on projects in the barn. Yeah, we always end up bringing it in the house. I don't know why. Uh, just my messy countertop. That's from breakfast. Uh, I still have my breakfast dishes I need to do, and those are like last night's dishes I didn't put away. Projects, checking batteries, things like that. We're checking to see if things are working. My son just came. That was a, kind of the break between when I took my morning video and now doing this one. Uh, to open a couple of boxes and visit for a little bit. I have a doll here who is... Right now she is on Rusted Market or Marketplace on Facebook. And then, I don't know why that Santa's there. I think I was gonna do, oh, I was gonna fix him. So he's a project. Uh, something I need to pack up and ship as a gift. Uh, basket needs to go somewhere other than this. Yep, there you go. There's my, my, my poor buffet in my living room. Projects, these need to go in there. But then I need cutting off. This is a recent purchase. Love that, got an estate sale. And I still have Christmas stuff out. Yeah, I know. But I keep Santa's out year round, so I'm not surprised that, you know, they're still out. Uh, I saw some things like this I was going to put on Rustin Market or Marketplace. Uh, Chris, uh, Halloween decorations need to go back. Let's see, come in here. Yes, still got a Santa out. Yeah, I do. He's right here. But there's a little story behind him why he's still out. I, or I bought another Santa that, oh, it's a long story. But anyway, his face, uh, okay, I'll, another video. How about that? Uh, so, so more of my Santas from Christmas. This one is actually on Marketplace right now, but it's not giving me interest. Okay, here's my, this is my problem. This is Christmas off the tree. It is still here for two reasons. One, we never have been, well, obviously not using the dining room table. But the other reason is the box that these go in, now, some are mine, and some are things I'm just going to stick on eBay, so I need to sort them out. I used the box that these were in to put stuff for eBay in, and so now I'm down a box, and I don't have a box. Uh, this is my collectibles. This is hoarding. Now, when I say I'm a hoarder, 
Uh, mean, hateful lady who put a very nasty comment about me. This is what I mean. I am like a massive collector. I can't stop collecting. And I have really cool collectibles. This is my other hoard of Santa stuff. And these are my um, Anthony Costanzas that are reproductions of his work. And it's really cool. I'll get a close-up of one. He, he was broken when I got him. Oh, sorry, that boy. So, sorry for y'all having to watch this. So he was broken when I got him. And I have tried to glue him back together right here. Oh, I'm the wrong one. That's broken off. And then this tip was broken off. And it really needs to go to my studio to get touched up. And then it's got to go back on the top. Something I love. I need a list. <laughs> I was going to list her this year, but I kind of needed to give her some eyelashes because her eyelashes were missing. And so I found some false eyelashes. More Christmas stuff. It didn't get put away. But these are my D. Gan Santas that I collect. And this is a uh, another um, Santa by Carol Bouquet. It's Bouquet Enterprises or... I don't know, they call something else. Anyway, these Santas, I got another one, not like him, but I, of this style, but somebody had taken the head off and put this really ugly plastic head. So I bought the other one, and I'm going to put the head of that other doll that's not quite in proportion on a body like this. Anyway, long story. Like I said, she left it for another video. Uh, and when I say I collect things, this is not a really good um, example of how I decorate my for my mantle with this kind of oh sorry about the lighting post christmas decorating i just grabbed all the, i've been kind of going through my jars so i just grabbed all my jars and and pottery and kind of going through those to see which ones of these i'd want to get rid of at this point none ah, sorry if i make you sick here's my brooms because see i can't have one broom and here's my favorite broom my new addition by witch's broom because <laughs> Isn't that awesome? I love my witch's broom. Yeah, it's got to stay here. And I have another one tucked back here and back there. And some gourds, and this plugs in, but it's not plugged in. And then I was going through Legos, and of course, they're in the middle of where I was working still. And I was doing this video this morning. That's why they're there. Okay, my couch right now is a hot mess because this little thing right here, Sassy, are you guilty? Sassy. She picks up all sorts of debris and brings it in the house and puts it on her clothes. I mean, maybe puts it on her furniture and her clothes as well. Um, corded up desk, workout videos, don't laugh. Uh, dog, see my dog got in there and she was dirty too. Dog toys, usually scattered everywhere. Um, more, you know, just the, any kind of flat surface has got to have stuff on it. And then dog toys. Dogs have been playing. We always keep the bones all like in the, I mean, well, antlers in this case, all in the middle of the floor where we can step on them. So that's my, this is my life. This is typical of what, how messy and stinky and nasty hoarder's house that I live in. Oh, look, the vacuum cleaner. There it is. Go to work. Go to work. Oh, it just sits there. See, what's the deal? I got a vacuum cleaner, just didn't do anything. Okay, so this, this is the dreaded box that needs to go downstairs. We always, always have the box. Oh, my lighting's changing. I always have the box that has stuff that needs to go downstairs, but it gets full and I can't carry it. So I just had to take it out piecemeal. And because I'm a hoarder, this is the kind of stuff I hoard. Lots of really fun stuff that I hang on the wall. And see, I would hate for one of those hoarding places to come and tell me I had to take down all this because it was a sign of a sick mind. I don't care. This is to me the sign of a creative mind, which I have. And this is the other side, which is just as bad. I just want to know what to do. I hate this big vent here. It's really ugly. All right. Oh, my bathroom. My nasty, you know, because I live in a hoarder's house bathroom. Typical stuff lying around. Um, my house is was built in 1969, so it's, what is it, 50 years old. And then some. Yeah. Is it 50? Yeah. 51, I guess. Anyway, oh, I need more lights. And so it's an old house that has old house issues. And it's an old house. And this we decorated when my kids were like, my youngest was a year and a half. So we never changed it. And it was all because my friend did this beautiful cross stitch of Noah's Ark. So we just did this whole room in Noah's Ark theme, but his nursery had been done in Noah's Ark. So some of the stuff kind of was from that. Uh, art, art, 
Sorry about that quick stroke. Art, 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 art. If you were to go, like if I was to have a, an estate sale, I mean, how cool would this be? I could just let people in and say, come get my stuff. Anyway, more. See, hoard, this is hoarding. I mean, most, if, you're a, if you're a minimalist, you would just die. Oh, there's my heater. You're going to hear a heater sound in a minute. It didn't say, oh, there's some of my beautiful kids. I probably don't need to show all that. Anyway, uh, my bath, my, this is the worst. This is like my nemesis or whatever. Hardest room for me to keep clean. Sorry about the quick turn. Is my laundry room. And the reason my laundry room is always a mess, I have to put away my winter clothes to put out my spring clothes. We have really not had a winter or a spring this year. So I'm still wearing short sleeves or sweaters. It, it's a day-to-day -day thing in Louisiana. Oh, my bathroom. Oops, lights are off. I'm walking. It's, okay, sorry. A lot of dark in the sea, definitely. Too, well, but Hoarder lives here, obviously. Oh, but here's my really cool vintage. Okay, so this is funny. I still have to take the price tag off because I want to get this framed. And it's not happening. It just sits there. Um, yeah, this is what... Okay, so here's my other thing I do. Like I said, no flat surface is safe in my house. I really need to deal with my vanity. I have bags of makeup I just need to throw away. And lipsticks, and, 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 and. Project after project. So, it's getting, oh look, it's dusty. And it's dusty, because you know, that's where I put my makeup on. Uh, there's my crazy red wig. And here's my hoard. My hoard of jewelry. But that's nothing, that's nothing. I love my jewelry. I don't have any on, but I love jewelry. As my, more stuff hanging up. Oh, got a shirt I wore for a little while, so I took it out. More necklaces, oh my gosh. Anyway. And I don't have room for all my shoes, so guess where they end up? Piled up on my side. Of, not really. I cheated over to my husband's side. Look how nice my husband's side of the closet looks. Yeah. That's because he has nothing. And then this is my side. Just a big mess. Pile of shoes. Yeah, I'm a little messy. It should not be that way. Uh, my best not made because why? It doesn't have to be. My husband's not home. And then we got the packing to go on a trip this weekend. That's extra blankets. I sold my, no I didn't. I gave my uh, quilt rack to my daughter-in-law. So that's the place to live. Um, yeah, this kind of stuff. And yes, it's dark in my room again. Lighting, ding. Okay, this is my other, see, I'm really crazy about jewelry. And this is like Christmas stuff too that I need to put away somewhere more. I was gonna put it where like my kids stuff where it's a little bit more collectible. Cause that's like my, this is all, Hallmark's, um, Noah's Ark, and that's, that belongs to my, my, uh, youngest child, and my younger son, I should say, and I was see if his wife wanted it, and then these are some of my jewelry, and these are really cool, these are pillows, I know this is crazy stuff I find, these are pillows that are made out of vintage, I'm talking vintage, they're like antique, antique fabrics, but I use them to display, and that's what they're for. They're display. I'm sorry, rabbit. They're they're there to display uh, vintage jewelry on. So not that my jewelry is that fine, but it's fun. It's fun jewelry. I mean, lots of stuff. My spider. Okay, another flat surface doesn't stand a chance. Yeah, it's even that. I even have stuff there. Oh, this is my Rolling Hills basket, which sadly, not even halfway full. We're working on it. I have my weighted blanket because it's supposed to help with fibromyalgia. My drawer, for some reason, it's not closed. This is a, a little cabinet in my dog's bed right there. But this is a cabinet I recently redid for my side of the bed. And it's really crazy lamp. Thrift store finds. Thrift, actually, secondhand store find. And then that was thrift store. Rolling Hills find. Speaking of Rolling Hills find, this was a Goodwill find right here. And that is this really cool mid-century lamp. And I had to get a new light shade because I didn't have a shade. I really wish I could find a drum, but then I thought, you know, I want something really different. So I did a square instead. And this is just an antique piece of furniture where I keep more clothes that are so full it's busting open. All right, now here's the problem. I'm walking you through the dark part of my house again. Um, all right, we are taking down, we're cleaning out our camper. We're getting ready to sell our camper. We were uh, going to use it this weekend to go camping. And my husband says, you know, and he's like little things done to it. And he says, I'm so tired of working on things. He wants to get rid of the camper. So he pulled all this stuff out. I'm like, thanks, dude. But my son, I said, oh, this is a present for my son. If he watches this video, I'll ruin it for him. 
because that was like, that's like a godfather joke, you know, for my son. He'll get it. Anyway, so I kind of raised a little bit of a collector as well. He's really big into Star Wars. So these were the fun things in his room. Got the TIE Fighter hanging up. Got a Death Star made out of a globe and the hanging from the ceiling. And you can't, see, it turns so you can't see it. It never got finished. And I just really hate that. It has the, 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 the thing to it. Oh, let's see. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. Um, anyway, his, so his room. We built these, my husband and I built these shelves. I designed them. And then he has all the little Star Wars scenes set up, but over time they've kind of gotten knocked over. It's time for a major dusting, redecorating kind of thing, but I love it. It's really great. So that's that. This is what I, when I say hoard, I'm really talking about stuff like this. You do not see any bottles of urine anywhere. If you do, let me know, because I meant to throw those away. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Come on, Sessie. Get out of, the, get out of your brother's room. More oh, darkness, darkness, stuff in the hallway. But getting back to that, how we're um, cleaning out our camper. That was coming out of the camper. That's our, our big old sleeping bags. And so it smells like plastic in my son's room right now. Because we brought all the connects and all these G.I. Joes in. I brought them in to sort them out. Some toys that we were going to sell on eBay or, or on Rustin Market and things like that. But we, he, we gave him, we gave my, my son, I'm sorry, my son and his wife, my son's bed. So we have that. And then it's just like stuff that I have listed on Rustin Market. And then my son, when he moved out, he had a really cute room too. With all his collectibles, his same kind of shelves his brother had, and they're just full of stuff. And so it was once again, you know, I kind of raised collectors, but my husband's the same way. I mean, it's not just me. We just like like stuff. You work hard, and you buy stuff. Isn't that, isn't that how it works? So I have things that are like over here that are on Rustin Market. I keep saying Rustin Market, but it's Marketplace. But our popular our popular place is Rustin Market. Anyway, more. Uh, I think those are Imaginex in there. But this is what my son left me. He just dumped through everything at the closet. He didn't put anything away. So I'm not getting any help. All right, his room gets just turned off and walk away. So that's not good. I don't like that because it's almost as bad as my downstairs. Uh, you've been to my downstairs if you've watched previous videos about what it's like to live in a house to selling on eBay. Uh, that's probably the same boxes you saw in another video. I am still haven't put the boxes away because it's raining. This is my basket of pictures I need to either hang, put up, or something. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's bubble wrap? That's bubble wrap. Okay. Dolls that need to go really in my other room. They came out of the, my studio. Pull those from my studio. More, more bubble wrap. Same stuff you see, always see here. Um, more little projects. Same cups. Been there forever. Need something done with those. I do have this room is hoarded up right now. Looking. It's my husband's office. I know. Because I was going through the items that eBay had pulled from my listings. And this is what hell looks like. And then, I don't want to make this part of my video too long. Oh, oh more stuff to list. That's some cool stuff. Uh, I know I kicked this over when I was coming through earlier. And then we're back to this. But hey, my closet's getting cleaned up. Now that I pulled that big box, I am getting my closet back in order. But I still have all my listings that I need to work on. And, and this is what, when I say I'm a hoarder, guys, seriously, this is what I'm talking about. Look, I've got a place to sit right there. This is what my hoarding is. It's not, I, I can walk, not very well, because at this moment, I have a box right there in my trail. And that's stuff that is listed, by the way. It just needs to get put back in the closet in, in an organized manner. So, you know, it's a bunch of smalls and things are fragile, so I really can't put them in boxes. Uh, but a lot of things I need to list, dolls, and I hope y'all don't get nauseous watching this. Things I can't make decisions on. These are kind of, some of those are like my collectibles, but not all of them are. Weird stuff, my dog's barking, more smalls more kind of this is kind of sorted out my dog coming in because i'm talking uh my stack is three high it should be four high but the dolls that i was are in the other room the, the doll box 
Oh, well, I'm in here. Let me turn the lights off, Dash, because I gotta go back upstairs. Yes, I need to work in here. Oh, this is my. Oh, if I if you haven't watched the other videos, let me back up. This is how I organize. I just I put my stuff in bags. Like I said, I only do about 500 things a month now, and this is kind of how I keep it organized. And I, and I and these are actually in segments like toys and 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 these are some plush animals and stuff, and uh, baby dolls and porcelain dolls are over here some boxed items down there more packed items this under that red those are just some smalls those are my barbies under there these are i'm pulling out anything to do with angels and putting it in the angel box and this is a santa so it doesn't go in there anyway lots of fun so no i don't appreciate her saying my house stinks like a hoarder's house because a couple of ornaments smelled bad. I know it's cluttered. It is cluttered. I don't, you know, and there's only so many hours in the day that I can be productive without it costing me a lot of pain. But still, not cool people. That's mean. Being bullies. That's what a bully does. Oh, by the way, if anybody has, you know, any ideas how to not keep things in the hallway, please let me know. My dad's video, my bathroom. All right, so my, my husband was pulled all this out of the shower to see if my son wanted to take any of these. And they have sat there. So see, he's just as guilty. Um, just stuff, just stuff. And this is more Christmas stuff that's kind of stashed over in here, which is not cool. Find the door. We don't really use that bathroom. I mean, unless we're downstairs, but we don't shower and all down here anymore. And back up my crazy stairs. Unless I'm a carpet saw, we're in the process of remodeling our house. Find some fun stuff while I'm on here. We're in the process of remodeling, so it does not help. Love these. To have, um, all right, let's see. Not, yeah, little dust. They do get dusty. Well, what can you do? I mean, it's cool stuff. It just happens to get dusty. Stuff gets dusty, man. Anyway, there's a tour of a hoarder's home. A happy hoarder's home. Anyway, uh, I know this has happened to other people, and they they feel very, uh, you know, in I would say in shock about it because there was usually if you've ever read any of the negative comments that people leave and the responses, thank goodness, eBay has allowed people to respond to the negative feedback. We do make mistakes, but I'm always willing to work things out, not to the point of somebody's lying about something. Um, and you know they're lying if they won't send you photos and things like that. So, as long as the buyer's being honest with me and saying this happened, and then yes, of course I'm going to work you work it out. But someone who says it broke, I threw them all away. No, I, I can't work with you now because you've just nullified the return policy. You've just nullified my uh, insurance claim by throwing it out. So I have no reason whatsoever to try to work things out with you other than I'm a nice person. But she didn't even give me a chance to be a nice person. But that's how it goes. Joys of selling on eBay. What can I say? So anyway, hey, post comments. This happened to you. Share the love. It's I know it's stressful when you see them. Anyway, post comment uh, down below. Let's talk about it. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. If you have subscribed, thank you so much. I'm getting there slowly but surely. But hey, I've been doing this a month. And it's getting there, and I'm, 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 I'm excited, and I hope great things happen with it. And like, please like. Don't give me a negative on this one. I need a positive. I need positives on this one. Anyway, thanks a lot. And, you know, be happy. Stay safe. Bye.